At the Army 2024 Forum, the Russian company All-Terrain Vehicles Plastin introduced a new tactical wheel transporter, the Plastin TT. Designed to transport cargo, wounded personnel and other essential supplies, the Plastin TT marks Russia's attempt to address the growing demand for specialized battlefield vehicles, with an eye on replacing or competing with foreign models like China's Desert Cross All-Terrain Vehicles. The Plastin TT is presented as a domestic option for Russian forces, built entirely from locally sourced components. The vehicle's engine, a 1.7-liter 80-horsepower gasoline engine, is borrowed from the Russian-made Neva, and its axles are adapted from the Gazelle, a light commercial vehicle widely used in Russia. One of the standout features of the Plastin TT is its articulated design. The vehicle's frame consists of two sections connected by a special hinge that allows the frame to flex in a horizontal plane. This flexibility, driven by a hydraulic system, enhances the vehicle's maneuverability and ability to make tight turns, key characteristics for navigating rugged and uneven terrain. The all-terrain capability is further enhanced by large, specialized 12.4 L16 APR tires, designed for off-road conditions. With a ground clearance of 280 mm, the Plastin TT is built to overcome obstacles, making it highly suited for both combat and logistical roles in difficult environments. The Plastin TT can reach speeds of up to 100 km per hour on highways and has an operational range of 400 km, making it a versatile and mobile platform for battlefield logistics. The vehicle's rear section is capable of carrying up to one ton of cargo, with additional space for passengers. The rear link of the Plastin TT is fitted with benches along the sides and features a fold-down rear panel for ease of boarding and loading. This area can accommodate up to 10 personnel making the transporter useful not only for cargo transport but also for evacuating troops or carrying reinforcements. The driver's compartment is located in the front of the vehicle in an open cockpit, which also has space for one passenger. Safety bars are installed above the cockpit, doubling as a frame for an awning, providing basic protection from the elements. Russia's focus on developing such vehicles reflects the military's growing demand for all-terrain transport systems capable of operating in harsh conditions. The Plastin TT is seen as a potential replacement for foreign vehicles, particularly China's Desert Cross, highlighting Russia's drive toward self-sufficiency in military equipment. Testing of the Plastin TT is currently underway, with feedback from both civilian experts and Russian military personnel reportedly positive. If successful, the production rate could reach up to 20 vehicles per month by the end of the year, according to sources within Russian propaganda media. The Plastin TT's development signals Russia's intent to enhance its logistics and transport capabilities on the battlefield, with a focus on flexibility, maneuverability, and domestic production. If the vehicle meets the Army's expectations, it could play a significant role in supporting Russian troops in both combat and support roles, particularly in difficult terrains where standard vehicles may struggle.